Hello, thank you for joining me. This is part two of our adventure around the amazing gardens at Bidolf Grange. It's just starting to rain. This is an area known as the Pinetum where we finished our last video. So what we're going to do now is we're going to literally go around the world. Let's imagine for a moment though we're in Cheshire, no actually in Staffordshire. Because this building here is called the Cheshire Cottage and it does something quite exciting when you go inside. So we're going to go in as you can see, if the camera picks it out, because it is a bit dark, it doesn't appear very much like a Cheshire cottage. Look at this, can you see? There's like um, something sitting here. But if we go down here, it's hardly a cottage, it's more like a cave. I agree. Go up here, and around the corner, up these steps. The cottage still has a very Cheshire-like appearance, but what I didn't show you I will in a minute, is the third way you can go. There is another way out. So the house is over there, more formal gardens that way. We're going to quickly go up here. Up there is the Wellingtonia Avenue, which runs up to the end of the garden. And behind the Wellingtonia Avenue, there's it's probably meant to be for children, but I had a go on it and I enjoyed it. An area called the Enchanted Forest, lots of things to climb on and stuff, like a play trail through the woods. So. That's the Enchanted Forest. We're now going to do a little circle round back to the Cheshire Cottage. So we're kind of on the other side. The Pinetum Gardens are there. You can see those lovely monkey puzzle trees. There's some more rockeries there. There's a pond. The rain is getting a little bit worse, which is, um, I suppose, unfortunate might be completely soaked by the time I finish this video but it'd be worth it. So we're now coming back to the Cheshire Cottage. We came out of there and we're going to go back into there. So this is the porch to Cheshire Cottage again. That's like a window for when you're inside to let a bit of light in. So we went out there a moment ago. We're going back down. It's nice and cool here. It's quite a muggy sort of hot summer's day. So we're back underground. There's that funny creature, not me, that creature sitting there. If we go down here, I said we're in Cheshire, the Cheshire Cottage, but now it's like we're going for a tunnel in the earth. Come out here, there's a sphinx. There's another sphinx. We're in Egypt now, Staffordshire's version. So you've got these four lions guarding the pyramid, which becomes a Cheshire cottage. If you look, there's some hieroglyphics on it, but they're not probably ancient hieroglyphics. Now, if we go around here, coming to this lovely part of the garden, there's this building here. Now, I showed you this in the last video. We were down there down that end of this walkway. What we're going to do now is we're going to go down there um, and we're going to go and find the most exciting bit. So go through here. This path's quite interesting because have a look at this. They've kind of got all these uprooted tree stumps and made, it's like kind of going for a dinosaur's graveyard almost. Now what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to end up there. And it's not often, where is it? You see a sign saying to China, but we are going to do that, exactly that. But first, we're going down here through another archway. And we're now in this part of the garden, which um, a moment ago, we were up there. So, see what I mean? This garden, they're all sort of on top of each other. And, you know, there's bits hidden. So, behind there, you wouldn't know it, there is one of the most amazing gardens ever. And that is where we're going to go to now. There's another, that's where those people appeared from. When I was down there, I said, oh look, some people have appeared in the last video. That's where they came from, they're out there. You could easily get lost here, but it'd be a nice place to get lost. And it looks like, um, at least the fact it's raining means I'm the only person here. I feel quite special that I've got this whole place to myself. So um, we've already been here. That's where we went up to look at the formal gardens. Here is the lake again. 
So what we're going to do, in the last video we went around here, but when we went through the little path through the um, rhododendrons, we went, we carried on and we went through that tunnel into the Pineton. We're not going to do that this time. We're going to turn off before then and there's like a little ravine which feeds this lake so the water kind of comes off we're going to follow the stream up the ravine and it's going to get quite exciting so back down here so yes we saw this in the last video i know but like i said in the last video we went over this rock bridge over the stream we went that way this time we're going this way now what we're going to do we are going to follow that, but first, let's go up these steps. As you can see, as we go up here, there's a bridge. We're going to go under the bridge. And if we keep going up, we can now go over the bridge. These are the kind of gardens I really love. They're so imaginative and, you know, just really... Look, look at all these rocky paths. To go on it really gives you a real sense of that you're exploring so this is why i think these are some of the most exciting gardens i've ever been to come right up here and you can see there's the bridge there so we've kind of come right up came under the bridge round over the bridge now we're up here and now i will go back down again because our adventure is going to get more and more exciting. So we've been to Cheshire, we've been to Egypt, but there's one more country we haven't gone to yet in this little adventure around the world. We're back here, so that's where we came up to go over the bridge and back down all these steps. We're back in that little ravine. So if you look here, you can see the water flowing a moment ago we went up those steps but now we're going to go this way it says no entry that's why we just came down i think they wanted to be a one-way system get to here there's a waterfall and some stepping stones and a very dark cave with lights in we're now going to go into that cave with lights in and it does a couple of surprising things this cave so then we go Nice and cool in here. Go around here. I know you can't see a great deal, but trust me, you will. There's a strange room there that there's nothing in. If we go through here, we're sort of uh, outside. There's this gate here that's open. Get into this room. There's like a cave here. I mean, this is all man made caves. If we go down here, oh, I'll let you see better. If we go down this one, up these steps you realize nearly hit my head then we're in an ice house um there's not a huge amount of we're gonna go back out now it's very very small in here if we go out back through here something really amazing will happen in a moment we'll get through here to look at this as if by magic we've transformed ourselves into China. So this is possibly the most exciting garden of all, the Chinese garden. We're in this Chinese pagoda with its own little lake. It's um, really quite an exciting place. You just sort of can't believe. You just don't expect it really. It's, it's brilliant. And then here you've got a Japanese maple. There's some Chinese dragons in the grass. There's a bull up there. There's these kind of doorways here. I think what we'll do, we'll go this way because it looks a bit more interesting. If we have a look down here, you get a great view across the pond to the um, pagoda. And we can go over the bridge in a minute. So we go over this bridge. So if we've gone through that archway, we've ended up on that path over there, which we will still end up on, but via a slightly different route. 
so there's the shiny to go. So you wouldn't think when you get to there, you wouldn't realise if you go through there, you go through a cave and you end up sort of in another completely different part of the garden. That's what I think is so clever about here, how you sort of just don't know what is coming around the next corner. I'm not sure if this is technically still China, but it's quite exciting, lots of little steps. I love these kind of gardens where you've got steps and you're never quite sure where you are. There's a little Chinese pagoda up there, I won't go up to that one. Um, because it's not really a huge amount up there. But let's go down this this very narrow path. And suddenly, we've come into a folly. A little ruined folly. Obviously it was built as a ruin. But yeah, it's quite exciting. Now the place I thought we'd go to end this video is if we go back down here. You can see the Chinese pagoda again in the distance. Go down these steps, and there's this sort of tower thing here. There's some steps. Let's go up there. I'll just let you have a quick look at the classic view of Bidov Grange, looking across the bridge, across the water, and there's the folly in the distance. So. Let's go up those steps. Something up here. It goes round and round. More, more steps. And the tower get to here, you get a better view. What's this that's leaning to one side? If we carry on. We get to here, there's more steps onto the very top of the tower. So now we get a fairly good view over the treetops of the gardens at Bidolf Grange. So we were down there, we've come up those steps, all the way up there, around there. You can just see the Chinese pagoda over there, and the house is, you can just see it behind the trees over there. So from the top of the tower, in the gardens at Bidolf Grange, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I haven't shown you everything there is to see here. There's lots of other interesting gardens, so, do come and visit this place for yourself, but from top of the tower, a bit off grain, thank you very much for watching.